I'm Lisa, welcome to my channel today. I am scrapbooking with my new Coco Daisy September kit. Uh, this is the first layout that I'm creating with it and I just thought I'd run through with you and show you what my plans are. Um, I've just printed off four photographs. Um, they're just under three by three inches and I've included a lovely thick white border. The plan at the moment is to use the white border for journaling but that may well change so um, we will see. I have used or I will be using this Coco Daisy here piece here as my mount so I will be framing my white cardstock on there. I've got a small piece of 6x6 six six Coco Daisy paper there which I will be using as well. I also in my tray here I've emptied the contents of this Reset uh, Girl Carp DM bits and pieces in here. I quite like having bits laid out in front of me so I can grab bits and pieces. I've laid some out here already that caught my eye. I also have some flare and some washi tape and some stickers from the um, Day in the Life kit. I also plan to use a couple of pieces of this paper here from the main kit and for the fun stuff I have laid out here I've got some paint and some mist and I've also got some really old um, die cut paper here that I'm going to be using for misting as well. So let's pop that to one side and um, let's get started. I've prepped my base so far. I've taken off the trim that was at the bottom of the Coco Daisy paper and I've cut four centimeters off two sides of my white cardstock and stuck that down with double-sided sticky tape. I am now going to work on the next stage. I'm going to mark off so I can see roughly where I need to go beyond um, the amount of times I've done it and I've just done a smaller piece and I stick my pattern paper over the top and it covers up the paint so we don't want that we want to see the paint. I plan to do mostly yellow um, I'm sure I'm going to need more than that but let's just spread that lovely bright colour over isn't that wonderful it's just pure sunshine in a paint tube. Let's do that. So I'm not planning to do all of it. Obviously the main bulk part of it there we're not going to see anyway because it will be covered up with paper and obviously photographs. And let's get some pink on there too a little bit down there and then I will start with the mistings that now let's work on these triangles I like these they're fun aren't they let's move that there no doubt I'm going to get this all over my desk now this is probably really bad planning I am using the Tim Holtz distress stains and I'm just going to do that like that and some more down here I can still see those pencil marks actually so I will rub those out a bit later and let's have a few dots. These are so handy. I love keeping um, these pattern, they were like pattern papers that could come in a kit um, and I've just kept them as stencils to use. So there we go and I am going to dry that off now. My background is done. I have to confess it's much more colourful and vibrant than I expected it to be so um, I may see about toning that down. Hopefully by the time I've added everything else um, it will be a bit um, better. I'm not 100% at the moment so let's see how this goes. I'm going to pop that there but um, I might change some of that. I am, oh I was going to use some of this paper as well. I'm not sure at the moment. Um, I'll see might add some afterwards. I am going to cut down, I want a couple of these cards so I'm going to cut them down now. So the cards are cut, at the moment it's between these three. I know I want the hello because it was all about my dad coming over. I think that one maybe just blend in a little bit too much so I may go with this one. Let's see, let's put the photos down. These are all in numerical order. This was um, myself with uh, my siblings waiting for my dad to get off his plane. This was just a couple of weeks ago, it seems ages ago now. My dad lives in America 
and visits us once a year and you may have seen some of my previous videos we did a road trip over to um, his earlier on in the year so I've been documenting that as well so um, every year dad comes over I think I will keep this one and we have a big family get together so this is me documenting it I'm not sure on that one I might just keep it at that I think that will be fine I like it on the side so let's stick that so dad gets the same flight every year he flies in and um, gets the last flight into Heathrow and um, my sister's husband stays at home with all the kids and um, Aid, my husband, drops my brother and myself and my sister off at Heathrow. We run in to meet Dad and then there's lots of silly goings on as we're waiting for him to arrive. This year his flight was delayed slightly so um, we went and got cake and coffee and that was really nice. Aid was waiting outside so we ran outside to Aid waiting and got him, gave him surprise coffee and cake. I'm going to use some 3D foam tape on that. And there's lots of silly goings on while we're waiting for Dad. My sister found an um, unattended bag, so we had to report that, and nobody came. And then she was scared to stay in the airport. And um, it was just, we always have lots of fun. We play silly games, we play Spot the Famous Person, and we find famous lookalikes. So I'm gonna, no, I'll leave that one as it is. So that's our silly goings on. I am going to leave these. I don't think I need that. Okay, so I am getting there. Let's add that on there. I quite like that one. That's there. And the background is growing on me. I think it still is a little too bright. Maybe once I've added all the bits and pieces, I will feel happier. Um, I might actually do my journaling before I do anything else. I think I'm going to do that. I am going to number the photographs. I like the yellow. It will really that will stand out quite nicely. Now, I have journaled around um, my photographs. I did use the white frame as my journaling space. I ran out of space there. We can't wait for the time, so I am going to put together underneath. I've decided not to use the yellow alphas. I did use the number stickers from the Day in the Life kit, but instead I am going to use these foam gold stickers for my title and I will spell out the word together and place that underneath. So I've placed my title down, but actually I'm regretting that now and wish I'd put some washi tape. So I'm actually going to take it back up again and put the washi tape underneath. I just feel it needs something a bit more color rather than the yellow, mainly on the against the gold alphabet. So let's put some of this down and see if that helps. I'm always one to change my mind while scrapbooking. I cannot find the end of this tape. Uh, there we go. So let's put some of this down here and see if that's what it needs. Put that here. I'm not measuring or anything. Um, I'm just going to place it down, do it quite roughly. Makes my eyes go a bit funny, this tape. I think that's enough. Let's try another one. Maybe a slightly shorter one this time. Pop that under there. There we go. Let's try again and see if that does the trick. I think it just stands out. It was just, couldn't really see it there so much. So um, just gives it the little pop it needs. I'm happier with that now. So that's why I never stick things down properly when I'm working. I changed my mind so frequently. So that's the title done together. I've now got some bits and pieces that I want to add. Uh, I quite liked that. Um, and I'm going to stick, oh actually I wanted to stick that down. So let's add, I might actually put that up there. Let's do it to, yeah. And there's a heart here which I quite liked. Oh, I've got the flare as well, haven't I? Pop that there and the heart above, I think. Actually, let's use, I've got that obviously sticking up quite a lot. So, should we do that at an angle or should we pop that there? 
I think that actually, yes, add the foam tape, pop that on the heart, and let's pop that there. That's coming together quite nicely now, isn't it? Um, I've got some flowers, these are quite sweet. They look quite nice, or should we put that there? No, let's put the and there, the ampersand, rub off any excess tape. And I don't think I need that after all. Let's pop that back in the tray. I have this mini, mini paper clip, which is so cute. Quite liked that. It's just a nice bit of extra colour to add and something different. There we go. And I've got these arrows as well. Go on there as well. Uh, see what else I've got. Final stages of this layout now. So the title's in place and I've stuck all these little bits and pieces on. I just want to add a little bit more here. I've got this really old stencil and I'm just going to use an ink pad to do that. And I've got this green one as well. I just felt it needed something else. Oh, that's nice. I didn't expect it to be so bold. Quite like that. And let's do it here as well. There. I think that's done. I am going to just add a few drops of the yellow mist. And then I am going to walk away. This should this mustard mist should dry a little bit brighter than how it looks there. And I hope you've enjoyed this today. I've really enjoyed making this layout and I'm actually happy with how it's turned out in the end. It wasn't too bright. So there we have it. I am going to tidy up and we are heading to the park. I will do some close up so you can have a little look at the bits and pieces. But thank you for joining me today. I shall link up this lovely kit for you um, just below. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye bye.